Hi, welcome to No Conflict Co-Parenting. Our very first thing that you are going to want to do to set yourself up for a successful no conflict co-parenting relationship is to establish a shared calendar. And we're going to do that today on uh, Google. So if you have a Gmail account, you're going to be signed in with your Gmail and you're going to go to this little tic-tac-toe board here and hit calendar. And I'm going to show you very quickly how to create a new calendar. You're going to scroll down here to the other calendars on the left side, hit the plus, and hit create new calendar. And you can call it whatever you want to. Put your children's names on it, use your children's last names, you can call it the family calendar, whatever. Um, and so I've actually already got one created for our family, and it is the Sutter family calendar you can see here. And I am going to then go to the settings and sharing. Now you're going to want to share this calendar with your other co-parent so that they can view it, they can make changes, they can, you know, share it with your children, share it with grandparents, whoever may need access to this information. So you can see that I've actually already got uh, our Susan co-parent and our co-parent Jay, but here's how you would add a, a co-parent. You would hit add people and you would add their Gmail information and then you would give them their permissions. So you really want to give them the ability to make changes and manage sharing. You want to give them as much control and power over the co-parenting calendar as possible because you are co-parenting. All right, so you can see here that both of us have the same abilities, um, and that's going to be the first step in getting your uh, co-parenting set up with your soon-to-be ex or your ex, uh, so you can minimize conflict, and both of you stay well-informed and comply with all of your joint legal custody obligations.